Hi guys and welcome to this week's tip of the week and in this week's lesson we're going to be discussing how to strike your iron more consistently. So basically what I see a lot of is uh, when we get to a par 3 like the 15th here on the East Coast, it's a pretty long hole, just over 200 yards. Um, guys are probably going to be up there hitting a long iron or a 5 wood or a 3 wood to get it on the green from here and I feel like the most important thing that you need to do with your long irons is to strike them consistently and I feel like once amateurs get to that part of their bag where they have a longer club in their bag you really start to see them trying to use their arms more to hit the golf ball instead of like with the 7 iron rotating nicely with the body and not trying to kill the ball like they would with a 7 or a 9 or a shorter mid iron and I feel like this is where we lose a lot of shots on the golf course so I'm going to give you a tip this week to try and help you find that same feeling as what you do with the 7-iron and one or two key pointers to note when you are hitting a longer club, whether it be a driver, a 3-iron or a 3-wood, something that you can work on to make sure that you strike the ball more consistently. So the first thing that I feel goes uh, when we're trying to hit a longer club as an amateur is I feel like we get disconnected and what that means is because we're trying to go very far back, our right arm gets away from our body, the club gets too long, and then we try and pull down with the arm to hit the golf ball. So that's the first thing is because it's a longer club, we don't need to lift up those arms. We want to still maintain that right arm, the right elbow close to the rib cage the whole way through the back swing. As well as when we turn down, we want to make sure that that right elbow stays in the rib cage. So we're not going to use our arms, we're not going to pick the club up up here because that's going to only make the club move around too much as well as going to entice you to want to pull down with your hands. Where What we really want to be doing with a longer club is eliminating how much club face rotation we have by rotating with the body and letting the club follow the body, keeping the arms nice and close to the body. So basically all I want you to feel is you're going to feel like you're squeezing a towel or a wood cover under your arms the whole time. I'm not going to let this right arm get up. It's going to stay nice and close. You're going to rotate your body, keep the right elbow tucked, and then extend on the way through with a very smooth rhythm. So I'm going to hit one or two here for you so you can see the difference. I'll show you in a video as well what it looks like. But basically we're just going to sit up normally. Try and hit it the same as what you would with your 7 iron, keep those arms nice and close. And just swing through nice and easy with your body. You don't need to use your arms, you don't need to get longer because the club's longer. The club will do the work for you. You don't need to add more power with your hands and your arms. Keep that nice and tucked in, keep a good rhythm, and you're sure to strike your, your long irons to your 3 wood and your driver much better. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.